Hi and welcome to part 15. Today we're going to make it possible to cancel a plan, show a plan and date, and make it possible to delete leads and clients, and then fix something in the menu. And the first task is to make it possible to cancel a lead. To do that, we need a view in the team app folder. So if we just find team and then views.py, then here we want to make a view to make it possible to cancel. So we can add it here at API view. This should be a post request and then def cancel plan request. And the first thing we need here is the team. So we can copy from up here. And then we want to get the free plan from the database so we can assign this to the team. Plan free equals plan dot objects dot get name equals free. So if you named your plan something else, you need to fix that now. You want to see that I have imported plan from the database, and yes, I have. So then I can go below here and set the team dot plan equals plan free and team dot plan status equals team dot plan canceled this is just so later i can check when we are going to update one time per month that if the plan is canceled or what and then team dot save and then we also need to call stripe to tell them to deactivate the next payment so try stripe dot api key equals settings dot stripe secret key and stripe dot sub subscription dot delete and then team dot stripe subscription id and this is one we got in the previous part and then we can say accept exception if there are any errors from Stripe, then we say return response. Now we print an error to the user. Something went wrong. Please try again. And then if the try did work, then we can say serializer equals team serializer now we just pass back the team to the user so this should be lower case and then return response and we pass in serializer dot data great so then to import this to the urls so just append it up here somewhere and then just copy one of these, replace upgrade with cancel, replace and replace and save. And then we need to implement this in the front end as well. And I want this to be in the plans.view page. So if I find this page and then we can add an HR here and then div class column is 12 button at click cancel plan and class button is dangerous it's red so it know that something shouldn't happen or it's something danger when you click it cancel plan close the button close the div now we need to create this method just add it here this should also be an async method so first we can copy this paste paste and replace with false and then we want to use axios to call the backend dot post api v1 teams cancel plan 
like that. We don't need to pass in any data. Then we get a response back. Response. Oops. Response like this. And then we get information about the team. So I can copy this one and this one and this one. Paste it in there. So now we set the team based on the data we sent back. And then we can change this to cancelled. So the plan was cancelled. And then we are redirected back to the team. Great. So now everything there should be okay. So I can save it. Go to the browser. Refresh. So I can try to change plan. Cancel plan. Then I was sent back here. Another plan is free, max clients 5, and max leads is also 5. Perfect. So then that is working. And I can set the first task to done. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. And then the next step now is to show the plan and date in the team page. So to do that we need to change the serializer for the team because you need to have access to this field. This field is called... We are actually missing this field. I thought that I added it in the previous part. So then I need to add it now. Plan end date equals models.date time field. And this can be blank equals true and null equals true and save. So then I need to stop the server and then I need to uh, run the migration script. So make migrations and migrate. Now we can run the server again. Good. So now we have that field at least here. If I now go back to serializers and find the team, then I want to append it at the end here and save. So now this should be available in the front end. So if I now find teams.view, there, team at least, not teams, then I want to show it here. So p strong plan and date strong and this should say team dot plan and date and close the paragraph this is now empty and it should also not be showing when you're on the free plan because if you're on the free plan then you have no end date so on this paragraph you should v if then we can copy this not equals free save fresh and now this is gone perfect but i want to check that if i subscribe to the small team again that it is working I need to start this webhook listening again this should be the same as i had in the previous video but i can just double check that it's working find settings.py search for it yes it's still there so then i can try to pay yes it still seems to be working sent back here and i go to team I have the plan and the date and this is one month from now perfect so then we have this data available done and then I need to make it possible to delete a team, no, delete a lead and a client. So then I need a new view in the backend for the lead, lead and then find views.py. And then I want to use the API view, at API view, pass in post because this needs to be a post request. And you see here I haven't imported this, so you can go to the team here and find it up there 
and then I go back to views.py like that and I also need to import the the response so I can copy this as well like that so then I can scroll down to def delete lead request and and then I can have the lead ID in the URL so I don't have to pass in any data and then we first get the team just so that we know that the user is correct just to remove the self so we get request.user because when we are on a function based view we don't have access to self but we have access to request this way and then we say lead equals team dot leads dot filter pk equals lead id so we get all the leads for this team and then we filter it based on the primary key which we pass in in the url and then we just say lead dot delete and we can then return response message the lead was deleted and save so now we can import this into urls.py in the lead app first we import it up here and then in the top we can say leads oops path leads delete lead and then int and lead id now we pass in the name like this this actually has built-in functionality for deleting a lead but since we are going to modify this and get the team first and then do this then it's easier to just create a new view for this so we could just do this uh, perform delete and then override it but it's easier to just do this so now the back end for deleting a lead is ready so if i now go to the lead dot view then i want to add a delete button here so up here in the buttons we can create one more button at click delete lead class button is danger delete then we do copy this and create this I think delete lead then we can copy all of the content from this get lead because it's kind of similar and then we just want to convert this to a post and then we add delete lead there and then we can say console.log response.data so we see what data we get back from the server and then we can redirect the user back to the leads page so just copy this redirect slash leads and save so then we should be able to test this I go into leads go into test company now we have the delete button there, you can open up the inspector, delete, okay I got the 404 error, so let's try to use this, API v1 leads, delete lead 2, okay I should not have the slash before leads of course, so just refresh so the error is gone, delete, and now the lead was deleted, and it's now gone from this list so it's still two because I have more in this list perfect so now we are able to delete leads great and then the next step is to make the same functionalities for client just want to set this to done so then it's the clients so if I just find views.py pair in the leads then I can copy this function, go up to views.py in the leads app. Here I already have created or imported 
the the API view under response. So just need to rename a few things here. Delete client and client client and the client was deleted. And this should be client.id client.id and save. So now we can go to URLs and import it up here. Delete client. Then I can add it to the list here. Path client delete client. And then we pass in the ID int client ID. Delete client. And also just set the name delete client like that. Great. So now the backend for deleting clients is finished. We can go to the client.view page. Just want to copy this from lead.view first. Now we can go to client. Just paste this. Rename this to client. Rename this to client ID. Copy paste it into there. Clients and delete client. And then we want to redirect it back to dashboard slash clients. But then we need to create the delete button. First we add the div class buttons. So we get a little bit space between the different buttons. Button class button is danger. At click delete client delete. We can close the button, close the div, and save. And we can test this. We go to clients, find client one edited, delete, redirect it back here. Client is gone, and we got the message the client was deleted. Perfect. So then we can set that task as well to done. And the problem with this is that you can see these buttons here, but if I go and log out, the buttons are still showing. So that's a little bug we need to fix before we can deploy this project. So if you find app.view, scroll up, sorry, this is a component. So in components, layout, navbar.view, we still show these here. So I can copy this down here where we check if we are authenticated. But we need to remove this because we can check that if we are authenticated, then we want to show this. So save. Then you can see here that the buttons is gone. Perfect. And if I log in again now. Oops. Then you will see that the links are back. Perfect. So then I can set this task as well to done. And that's it for today. In the next part of this series, we're going to deploy this project to a live server. See you in the next video.